Hey, everyone. Hope everybody is having a great day out there. My day is going much better, especially better than it was seven days ago. That was the day to this day at the time of this recording that my back went out. And it wasn't like as clear cut as the deadlift video that I uploaded here a while back. Please check that out because that wasn't a mystery. I knew exactly how I did it. I knew the exact moment during that video for the X3 force bar that my back went out. This time, I don't know if I slept wrong, woke up wrong, got out of bed wrong, got into bed wrong, sat down wrong, got out of my truck wrong, got out of this seat wrong. We don't know. But when you're 52 years old, these mysterious little flare-ups and injuries and limitations do happen. But the blessing in disguise is it forced me to go back once again to foundational training, adding water therapy into my regimen once again. I'm going to be adding swimming, maybe just a lap or two. I might not last even a lap or two because I'm pretty much out of shape when it comes to cardio like swimming uh, and doing isometrics, which I constantly get away from and then have to reimmerse myself into it. And I always say, why did I stop doing this? Just like the water therapy. But one thing that I had to stop for about 18 months or more since the spine infection, and more importantly, the natural fusion of my spine after the spine infection is yoga. More specifically, DDP yoga, which, which I used to teach many years ago. And one of the strongest things that I really preached, one of the things I really emphasized when I taught DDP yoga or any yoga workout is modifications. Modifications is something that, you know, people who are my students knew me for more than anything because I had a lot of injuries to overcome, a lot of things to work around to modify, adapt, and of course, try not to flare up any current past injuries and definitely prevent future injuries. And that's why I'm happy that I'm able to do yoga again. DDP yoga is definitely the best yoga workout for modifications. Uh, there's other ones I love, Dylan Werner Yoga. Uh, also my buddy Veer on Instagram. He has a great yoga. He has a whole retreat. They teach yoga and all sorts of other awesome, awesome stuff. But DDP Yoga has always been my go-to for modifications. And during the course of today's workout, which is seven days later, you can see in the B-roll, I'm able to squat down better. I'm using that isometrics with dynamic resistance. That's what they call isometrics within the workout program. Dynamic resistance is essentially isometrics, flexing your muscles, which really does minimize or eliminate joint impact to every degree. You know, I use the bull worker, the isomax, the iso chain, and other isometric types of equipment. With DDP yoga, you're just basically using your body to recreate those isometrics using dynamic resistance. Uh, but I was really happy this morning, like I said, to be able to squat all the way down into the catcher position, which the huddle up position is the modification for that. But I was able to squat with no pain. Squatting up into a standing position, that's still a little wonky right now. So I don't really do that or I hold on to the floor and come up in stages. So it's been very, very good. And I've been doing DDP yoga two days after the flare up. So Saturday until today. So technically five days, five days. I've been doing it every single day, the fat burner classic workout. And then I throw my own little stuff in there, but I kind of follow along with that as a blueprint. Uh, it's a simple 18 to 20 minute workout. I usually get it done in about 15 to 17 minutes uh, going through it, sometimes extended if I want to do extra reps on, say, the rows and the presses or hold uh, the lunge a little bit longer, other types of poses. Uh, down dog has been something, surprisingly, I'm able to do that with no problem. I'm able to fold forward, but with my back right now, the rolling up in that last little part, kind of like the analogy I would use is if you're going to wash your face over a sink or brush your teeth and you're kind of bending over but leaning forward, that's what locks my back out. And it's still kind of that way. Although each and every day it's getting better. And I want to document it here on the YouTube channel that water therapy, isometrics in this video dedicated to DDP yoga, um, other types of yoga too, like Dylan Werner yoga and my buddy Veer on Instagram, which he has a whole retreat where they teach yoga and other types of training programs. But this form of yoga DDP yoga has definitely been a godsend with the modification aspect 
or the modica modification feature that it has. So I'm really happy to be embracing it once again. The reason I didn't do it for the 18 to 20 months or so after the spine infection, especially during the spine infection, I wasn't doing anything. But afterwards, when I came off the antibiotics and the PICC line, uh, there was a natural fusion process that needed to take place. So I wasn't able to lengthen my spine as you would do with yoga. You need to lengthen your spine. In this case, it was the inverse. I need to compress my spine, fuse the L2, L3, L4, L5, and just heal that up. And obviously, flexibility and mobility is going to be sacrificed for the fusion. But right now, five days into doing yoga once again, I'm able to do a lot, and I don't have the flexibility that I used to, especially when I taught it every day, multiple times a day. But right now, I'm very, very happy with the results and the progress that I've made, and I'm going to start adding more and more stuff into it. And of course, we're going to document every aspect, including the chair I'm sitting in, the anthros chair. We had to get cinema chairs that were more comfortable for my spine. We had to invest some money, and there was companies out there that were very, very kind to us. Anthros being one, Valencia with the cinema chairs. So we're definitely going to talk more and more about that. I'm going to involve my wife as well. She's been a just an angel uh, with homeopathic, natural painkillers, natural types of remedies that have really, really helped with the back flaring up. Cupping, a massage gun, all sorts of stuff that I need to do as prehab each and every other day. This includes the yoga that we're talking about today, but I'm a, I'm a guy. We get away from it. We don't do it because we want to be proactive. We do it because we want to be reactive, and I got I to gotta change that. So hopefully you can hold me accountable. Comment below. Let me know what you're going through, if I can help in any way, and let me know. I want to do a full follow along DDP yoga workout or yoga workout in general and start putting those up here on the YouTube channel again. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you once again. As always, I thank each and every person, hopefully personally as much as possible. But thank you so much for your well wishes, your prayers, positive vibes, light, love and light, all that stuff, whatever you believe in, the fact that you reached out, left a comment or even emailed or messaged me to see how I was doing and really just hoping I recover quickly. It means a lot and it's definitely helped. So thank you guys so much. God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.